You get because you telling me I should bring a surrogate mother into my house because you're carrying my child. So what? When you go to collect this thing from my man? No, I'm even talking about when she has when she don't bond the pequeño. So you're protecting your man. I'm even talking about when she don't when she don't drop. Oh. You know you know that some women when some surrogate mother <laughs> when they are when they are pregnant they are very horny. <laughs> It's true. And but so time, to be... And then once, once your man start giving them attention, they start feeling now that they are like the wife. And but that's weird. To, I don't think so. I'm be carrying my I'm child. So then you are not having see. sex with other yes. men. Yes. No. You get... No, no it's uh -uh. not have sex with other men. Okay. You don't understand. I get you, but like if they are not in... They are, if they are not with you and they are somewhere else and they are... No, they shouldn't have sex. So what would you be having to do with my own child? You carry up yourself. Ask it. Borrow. Ask it. Who go pump do one? Who go do one? You know, but you went there. Your husband go do one for him now. Where my bikini at, Billy? So you know what me another man climb him. You know what me your husband climb him. So me she does the whole body for him. This is so fucked. Are you hearing this girl? I knew I was a psychic. I have to do the role. The way the Jaguar wave is legit exposing some women these days. Hmm. Like, I can count how many men have come online in the past few months to cry about how they are not the father of their children. So let me understand how that works exactly. They, before they travel abroad, you have to do DNA tests for all their kids? Yeah, you have to prove that they are your kids. Who are you proving that to? To the exactly. government, girl. To Nigerian government or no, overseas? To the, obviously, to the overseas That's government. They need to know, you know, how many people you are carrying to join body. People that are actually your immediate family members. Oh, so, so that when these men go to now do that DNA test, you know, just for official purposes, then they find out that the kids are not theirs. So you know, I still don't <laughs> even understand the dynamic of how people realize that their their kids are really not theirs. Like, it's really really funny and awkward. Imagine training somebody, loving somebody, and you realize that. My question mind. is, where are the fathers of these kids? <laughs> Somewhere in Egypt. Clearly not present. Clearly. Oh. That's crazy. Clearly not I, present. I, I think the most painful part is realizing that these children are not yours mm -hmm. because you're trying to travel. Mm. So it wasn't even come out because they wanted to tell you. Would, 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 would it come out? If you were the one. I never have been there. <laughs> <laughs> but even you as the mother, you would not, you would be surprised too. Like, you would be surprised in some situations. Where shall, like on the flip side? It could be that you just had a quickie somewhere and you did not know that somebody's baby has entered, entered your, entered your yeah. system. <laughs> hey. Yeah. But my, it's now like making me think about the issue of, having, like if it's in a marriage, right, you are married to this person yeah. and you have kids outside mm. of that marriage with somebody else. Question is, how did that, how did you get into that situation? What was the problem? Is it that you, the husband couldn't perform and he couldn't yeah. get pregnant? Basically, what I'm going to say is if a woman, please turn me, if a woman basically brings four bastard children to your house, as a bastard man, children. you are the problem. Yes, now, at, at the end of the day, now, bastard children. She's a man, to the marriage, don't really, I don't even, even if it's in, most of you are having sex and you are supposedly having kids together. So why days, is yeah, uh, people don't still have the con the conversation of you know where they still cover up a man's um, shame of not being able to do well to yeah. give a woman a child. Yeah, you get most women cover it up and they cover the man's shame by actually going out to seek the whole childbearing process from another person. Yeah, and instead of this foolish man to be grateful, <laughs> this foolish man comes out and starts saying. I found out that my wife of 25 years is pregnant for another man and the son is not my son. But bitch, you can't even fuck a woman to make her get pregnant. That's a, that's a wild... I mean, that's so a, most of that's the time, a wild men opinion. Men complain, yeah? If you check it, 99% of the story is either the man is at fault or the woman just had to do what she had to do to just help her. Okay, man. I don't know, this is and again, they always shame the women more. I've yeah. seen somebody that they've not been able to have children for 15 years, and the man has refused to go to the hospital to find out what is wrong with him. The lady has gone to the hospital, she's okay, she can conceive. But the man has refused to go down to the hospital. First of all, like it's like the, the man, you know, not having the um, what's it called, not, not having, having the right to get upset because somebody else. She, how can you, first of all, you should not be having 
children out of wedlock when you have a husband and then saying those so as your husband's sperm is it's not functioning what would that's not his problem first of all <laughs> is his problem no that's not his problem that's not his fault <laughs> so which person so whose fault is, is it? it nobody's what i'm saying so like don't don't say nah, so nah, why nah. no no we you need don't to get, start i don't get your i don't get your, I don't get your we're talking on this so idea. when i'm unable to give birth is my fault no it's when you said that he's going out and he's ungrateful because the woman is trying to cover up Something that seems yeah, to be default on his end. He's ungrateful. <laughs> is nah. this ungrateful? Nah. My sister nah. is ungrateful. I mean, he nah. is ungrateful, girl. <laughs> no. No, no, because I'm I look at look at this like this. She's having children out of wedlock. She's in the wrong. But, but at least not, you have you have a child to take care of. Even though you don't have to be not that a child. Take care of a child. That's not the point. You can't be my idea. Something. No one is not have ideas. Nobody's. Like Sorry, no one is supporting one. anybody to go outside to have children. But you know, you're speaking because maybe you come from a good family that these things are not really a big deal to them. There's there some family that talk down on women that are unable to produce children when you're That's what we should be talking about, not the man being ungrateful. But that is ungrateful because weird. he would live. Yes. I feel like if you are impotent and I, I give you another man child. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying a man knows that he's not able to, you know, conceive, you know, he's not able to do the right thing that a right man would do. No, but he, right? if they are trying to travel and then that's where he finds out that the you're, children that's, are not no, that's, that's not even, that story. You're coming from another, from another, another perspective. From another, okay. Exactly. Me and you now, we're married. You're, you're unable to, you know, do the do and allow me to have Teletubbies in the house. You get, at the end of the day, I'm helping you because your family members pressure Friends, everyone is asking, when are you going to give? So wait, did the both of you consent to you having children? So men consent to it in the uh, house. Yes, if they consent to it. Grace the okay, woman. Yeah, yeah. For you know one thing, that's the problem. No, no, that's no. You, didn't, you were not specific. You weren't specific. Because you were not trying to understand what I'm saying. You're trying to. You were speaking generally. <laughs> You are trying to pick the man's corner. Don't and do that. You, the Don't do that. you were speaking I'm generally. Like... You were not specific. But anyways, my question the is, is why? why why are people not comfortable having conversations about impotency and barrenness? Because, because of the men shy away from that conversation. Mm -hmm. I feel like in a marriage, when when a woman hasn't given birth. 80% of the time, we look to the woman. No yeah, one of looking like, to the man. Well, Everybody we know expects why. the woman. You know, to because she has to carry the child. Do you? And that's why, know? as a man, you will not even know if it, now you give your woman belly four times. Yeah. If the woman don't born for four times, yeah. you don't know if now you give her belly. Then you, as a man, is it that you are not aware enough to know what is going on in your marriage? Mm -hmm. Or you're just like a desk, like you don't get, you're not just present. Because there's no way a woman will bring three different children, bastard children, to you, you as a man. Like you. <laughs> as a man, what are you not doing in that marriage? You don't get what I'm saying. My like, questions to remain. If she gets away, head. if she gets away with it the first <laughs> time, the <laughs> second time, the third time, bro, that means, is, is it like something is going on? not really working. Going on. At this point, I'm the one trying to cover your shame because you three know? children. Something Do you know is the wrong. Wet theory, I won't go to find out. See again, I need to. I'm sorry, my love. You are not covering <laughs> any shame if the man is unaware. I mean, period. But. He gets. He gets to pretend like he, he gets to take care of the children. What do you mean? Yeah. He, gets, he gets to he gets take to, care of yes, the children. No, that are not like, it, this, the reality is, it's people think it's a child adoption. This idea is tainted. Is <laughs> Nah, I'm saying to be honest, it's charity it's work that that woman is doing. Me. If a man can't give me children, I'll rather me personally. Of course, I'll not have another man's child and claim yeah, you know, it's for that man. But I get some women, especially when it's impotency. You mm -hmm. know that this man not yeah, shooting, not shooting blanks. Mm -hmm. Do you get? And you know how men and their ego are now. Like you especially when down on him. when both of you now know that this man not in date, not in like not empty. Do you get? And I want to, like, I don't, I still love you. I don't want to leave you. So mm -hmm. you, you can do the charity. People adopt for the same reasons. People exactly. adopt children when they can't give birth. So if I'm just, I'm giving you a child that's half mine, half someone else's. Yeah. Clear that other part. It's, it's my child too. And you love me. So take care of the child if you love me still. Because Without at the end you of knowing the day, that child is yours. I mean, obviously, it's half mine and half whoever man. I, you know. And not anything. <laughs> but half if he loves me, don't support that child still. 
because he loves me. So what if we adopt Without him being aware from the start? Well, I need to be very the awareness cool. now is another, like, I feel like the awareness, the way he found out is a problem. Yeah. yeah. So when he, but when he eventually he finds he really out, he should, he, he's I supposed feel like to... women don't tell men that thing because you know they can't handle it at the end of the yeah. day. Yeah. Men cannot handle the fact that, see, a man is okay having a whole other family somewhere else. And, you know, even as a woman, if you find out, they know, say, last, last, you know, if you kill yourself. Yeah, you, you when a woman can take that to the grave, you know, to protect, and what are we protecting when we really do that? Okay, Think about so, this. let me just when say When a woman is really not, com not saying the truth about the father of our children, who is she protecting? Protection. First off, there is absolutely nothing wrong with, like, in terms of you, like, yeah. it's not your fault. If you're impotent, if you're unable to impregnate a woman, yeah. it is not your fault. You can't blame yourself for it. That's mm -hmm. a that that's a natural. It's like women who have who are who are barren as well. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's her fault because she can't she can't have she can't bear children? Not. So the same thing goes with the man. It's not his fault if he's unable to impregnate the woman. So I mean I don't know people. He, he may not be like that before they got married. Maybe it's years or I don't know months into their marriage. Or yeah, I don't know whatever. But I feel like conversation like this should be had even before tests should be had even yeah. before you get married because at the end of the day, they just don't know. But you know where happening. where 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 is crazy in our culture when a woman cannot give birth and it's clear that okay this woman is barren our womb is bad something mm -hmm. is happening. It's super okay for the man to go and impregnate another, another person. Outside. And yeah, you that's, just that's, 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 quite, that's quite acceptable. So that's why I'm so that's why that's the why if the yeah. man steps out as well, it's also a problem. Yeah, I'm not saying it's not a problem. I'm just saying yeah. it's but not acceptable in our society. For the man, for for man for the especially problem. when there's that <laughs> when there's that notion that oh she can't she, give birth. They give him they give him a pass, like okay, fine. If a woman when woman can't do that, if a woman is unable to conceive for some weird from weird reason. Nobody ever thinks it's the man's fault. Nobody ever thinks that, oh, the problem is from the man. Let me not say yeah. it's the man's fault because it's still not his fault. Nobody ever says the problem is coming from the man. They always say it's the woman. Yeah. Either they say she's a winch, <laughs> and B, they say she has used her womb to collect a, something, something from another person. They don't change it all, yeah. right? Yeah. Or she just <laughs> generally she has a problem. Nobody is able to extend grace, grace to the woman. Whereas when the man is the one in this, they will always find a they will There's if they find the that is if they eventually accept that this yeah. man is the issue. Because a lot of time they even know that the man is wrong, but somehow they still end up finding a way because for some reason women are yeah I don't know it's a soft landing. It's a it's easier to blame the women than to, yeah. blame, to blame yeah. the man. Yeah. But it's it, if you are unable to conceive and bear children in your marriage, whether the fault is from this man or the woman. There are other options. There are other options. And that's what I feel like people need to embrace, especially in this generation. There's the option of adoption. There's the option of surrogacy. People are being able, they are able, they're able to insert eggs in other women and they're able to um, have that woman conceive. They'll carry your, ch your children. Her DNA has nothing to do with this. So it's literally... But how many, how many people in our culture... And we're saying this now because, you know, we're in this same society where mm -hmm. we know that adoption is not, you know, it's not that... And yeah, it's not the same as you... It's not the same as you have in That's own. why surrogacy yeah. comes in because and now that's is your even worse. flesh and blood. Surrogacy, before, before we as Nigerians, we really accept surrogacy, it's going to take a while... Yeah. You get. We, we might be talking about yeah because there are people who are already who have. There are not, but I'm saying before it becomes acceptable generally, it's still very unacceptable having another no, woman carry your child. I don't say it's unacceptable. I just because feel like most men they, will even tell you that they rather go and impregnate another girl. Do you get than go for that surrogacy? I think I think I don't think it's a problem of it not being unacceptable. I think it's a problem of ignorance. They don't have information because in, a lot of the time people tend to push away something that they have no information about, something they are not familiar with. Would you let don't another know. woman carry your baby? Oh, yeah, absolutely. If it's surrogacy, yes. But not my husband, it's somebody else. Why not? Is it not the same process? It's not. It's, no, okay, it's it's that that process. Process. What if they are using your husband's <laughs> sperm and another woman's then egg? It's not, not, not your egg, egg now. It's not using your egg. egg. I'm saying but you don't have any egg adventure, something, something, you your egg cannot it. fertilize. Yeah. So I think Can there you are allow things that? that they do because they, there are other things. Basically, that you think that guess you are boring the womb. Mm -hmm. They're not boring the egg. But even though, Seth, even if they use another woman's egg to fertilize then that's not your baby. the man's... Okay, but you are not having sex. Then that's your husband's man. baby. That's not your own baby. Fine, we're if in a marriage. They're not using your egg. And I am in the know. 
So that's a that's another conversation. So if it's my eggs that they're using, and it's somebody else who is you know going to be the incubator for my baby, and my husband's sperm is going to be inside of I don't know how they mix all of these things up, but basically both of our or not organs, our I don't know what to call it. But anyway, Sha, my whatever, and his whatever, mixed up, put, I don't know how they do it. I'm sure they don't mix it in a jar. <laughs> but in certain in this woman, and she conceives my child, that's a completely com different conversation. And if it's the man's eggs, I'm oh, sorry, his sperm, <laughs> that is being with so another woman's really, eggs, yeah. that's another conversation. But the problem, the, 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 the bedrock here is nobody's cheating on anybody. I'm a, and I mean, they're no. Do you get me? I mean, if I'm so it's completely honest, different from I don't the, even when it says the same as him having sex with a woman to mm. pregnant her. That's a completely different I mean, I don't even think like surrogacy should be as commercial as it's getting, to be honest. Because there's a lot of it takes a lot of is, is it is it, a lot is of it risk. Legal? Is it legal in Nigeria? I mean, it's not legal everywhere. I don't know yeah. if it's legal it's, in this country, but I know it's, it's legal in the not, US. It's not illegal. So we can But because the There's moment no it gets yet. commercialized, it's, it's gonna put a lot of women at risk because they will you see women it's, that will just I mean it's not a crime want to be so getting really any law can be they'll turn up to business. Not, yeah, but it's already some people's business. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like that puts a lot of women at risk. I think in the in the in the um Western um, culture, most women now do it for the money. They help you to carry your baby and you pay them a certain amount of money and then... It, doesn't it's very like, it should not it's, be generalized. I would say it's common, common, but... But if you, you are going to do it, are you not going to do it for the money? Are you going to do it because you love the child? Sorry. I mean, yeah. What was I your question? Like, I feel like if you're going to carry a baby... She's saying that it's going not to be a to be for someone. That you should carry because you love babies, Yeah, right? it should not be because but you're then, Do you get... But then I you need like, to get paid. I feel like... Yeah, I, I know we need to get paid. Do you That's get the point. It's like... You, because you're, you're not even supposed to grow love for the baby. You should not be money. You don't get... That's your child. That's the whole point of being a story. That's why you should not just be doing it for anybody. If it's someone close to you, your friend, your sister, someone, then there's a real, there's a real good chance that you're helping out this family that needs yeah. a baby. But the moment, the moment is that about the money, people will throw themselves in danger that they don't even know. No, at the end of the day, I feel like just they know to how have, to pace themselves. You think? Yeah. Just I mean, it's, it's an industry that's just growing. That's what I'm saying, that the moment it becomes... You get women will not want to even carry their children again as long as that option is there and it's cheaper. Well, and we that don't want to carry your own child, okay? That is not okay, no, that's what I'm saying. Well, <laughs> um, people should not just like, be allowed to opt for surrogacy just because just because. they have the money. If somebody is, I mean, if you damn girl, if you if you so wait, wait, would you are not you, for surrogacy? I would basically, but do not you? for the money, not just because I'm paying someone to have my child. No, no. Wait, not just because it's convenient for me. Do you get what I'm so saying? So why would you? Why would you? Like, you know, have to be, I have to be unable to carry my child for me to opt for surrogacy. Do you know there've been there, there've been cases for women that you know opted for surrogacy, complaining that they didn't have that connection with their child, especially when they get it from you know after the child has just been born, knowing that you know you did not give birth to that child, the connection isn't just there. And I'm taking Chloe Kardashian's case as an example because she used surrogacy for her second child mm. to the point where when she opened up and she was like, she said she didn't feel any connection to the child, unlike the way she felt on her first one that she actually carried. I think it's this, a second, this second child, she didn't carry it, so there was a disconnect. Yeah. So it took a lot of time for her. She had to go to therapy, and she also did DNA tests for that child like three different times. Yeah. And this is not because, you know, uh, her boyfriend was a cheat or whatever, but she just wanted to be sure it was her baby because she said the baby didn't look like the father or the mother. The baby so there are all these things that surrogacy comes with that people don't really talk about. Because what happens when you don't have that natural connection with a child that is supposedly supposed to be yours, and then nothing is happening, and you're like... I bought your mom for me, Bill. But the child, the child was hers. <laughs> yeah, but the egg, yeah. the egg used was. The DNA proves that it's her child. 
So I think it was a it was just a mind thing, I guess. Mind thing, yeah. Because, so because she's she supposed to be involved throughout the pregnancy. Mm. So you, in a way, you feel connected to the baby. If you're even if you're not pregnancy. there, like if it's your child, it's your child. But I don't feel like maybe because she didn't. No, she but didn't if you're going for birth. if you're going to choose surrogate mothers, you're going to be in the, be the process of the pregnancy. Involved, yes, yeah. you'll be there. You'll see how she's struggling with the pregnancy symptoms. So you'll feel the same way. That oh maybe I'm the one carrying this baby. You really feel the same way. It, you it can't, can't be the same. It's like it me can't be the same with way. a pregnancy. Ah, There's pregnancy someone with a pregnant woman. Oh, you be ex I feel like the, when you are you're excited, excited about, about the baby, you would feel connected. That's the thing. The excitement baby. is not enough because when the baby comes, and this is coming from someone that has had a natural birth before. Mm. Yeah. So obviously that fucked with her mentally because she's like, why so am I not this close Why was she not able to? I think I missed that gist. Why was she unable to? conceive afterwards um I, I i i think she froze her eggs and yeah. something something sure sure it wasn't so safe then i go freeze your egg by yourself it wasn't even safe enough i think it wasn't safe enough and the doctors you know told that uh, if she wants another child she should just have someone else carry it for her but i'm saying like it's easier for you girls to sit here and say oh sir Gacy, i'll just pay for it just... yeah. but like there are a lot of things that you know oh. that are involved in surrogacy that 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 no one is even talking about at all I think for me, the only thing involved in it is just the physical and emotional challenges. Other than that, I feel like every other thing might work if you look at it. Yeah? Yeah, every other thing for me works because at the end of the day, you know, somebody is willing to help you process the whole motherhood stuff while you get to relax and just... And do what? What are you doing with your time? <laughs> I, I just get to do other things, you know, make provision for the new baby coming in, make sure the mother is okay, make sure my baby is okay. You know, just, I don't know, like, because pregnancy on its own is a whole lot of stress, and right? It's a risk. I remember, I remember saying something on the internet about a lady saying that she has been trying to conceive, but she doesn't have enough space to hold her baby. Yeah. And then her husband is not buying the idea of adoption. Her husband is not buying the idea of surrogacy. And she's being forced to carry the child that she wants to carry the baby because she keeps losing the baby. And her husband is every... Most I mean. men are dumb. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh because then again, like, you, if you see your wife struggling with pregnancy, I think also on the internet, I saw a video of a lady saying... Um, after her first child, that was it, that she can't go through pregnancy anymore. Yeah. She really went through a lot. You know, she was throwing up from the beginning of the pregnancy till the end. She they even had to put her in the hospital. She was only on water. To be honest, pregnancy because that was the, the only thing, thing she could the accept in her life. system. It is very scary. So if you if you know that you go through this certain process, yeah, why not pick for surrogacy? I don't think surrogacy should be a conversation when it's just infertility. Mm. It should be a conversation when you yourself have problems. You're facing so many serious, diverse um, issues when you're trying to conceive. I have a problem. See, and I'm about to say something that probably will sound not politically incorrect, but I think spirit, not spirit, it's not even spiritually incorrect. It's religiously incorrect. How? I feel like Christians should come all the way down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when a woman is unable to conceive, I think religion is always very quick to say, ah, it's the devil's work. Yeah. Ah, you need to pray and fast for five years before, can you call sharp? Pray fire so that the king... It's like, calm down. You, it is okay to adopt. Mm -hmm. It is okay to have surrogacy. It is very okay. So religious um, societal beliefs are getting into the Christian world so much that I think we, we've lost sight of a whole lot of things. Where does it say in the Bible that adopting a child I don't think or having seen. surrogacy is a problem in the sight of God? I don't, I don't, I don't see. I've never seen it there before. If anybody yeah. has, please. It might not be a problem, but it's definitely not a solution. I mean, mm -hmm. in the Bible, you don't get like it's definitely not. Are you sure it's not a solution? Um, Moses, when when Moses was born, Moses was actually adopted, and he was loved. He was catered for. He was also a king in his little kingdom, even if he wasn't like you know directly from the lady. But then you should consider surrogacy. Come on, it's not a problem, baby. You should think about it. Think about it. So imagine right now you're unable to actually put to bed. You're unable to go through pregnancy. What do you do? I mean, that's fine. Like like I said, I think it's the commercialization that's a problem for me. 
when people start to feel like they don't even feel the need to carry their babies anymore, when there's just someone they can pay to carry it for them, that's when it starts mm -hmm. to become a problem. Because but it's not it's like not, you don't it's feel not commercial now. People don't see. It's not like when you have problem. That's when you are doing it. Yeah. Now you just feel like, oh, I have the money. I don't feel. I don't. I, I don't, don't have to so. have big nose or have big leg. I can I'm just so, pay I someone to fall, do it. I'm so sorry. That's but I where I have this. a problem. Ravina, I fall into this category that you're you. You do. Like, I know honestly. you do. I fall because <laughs> I will not lie about it. I feel like if you ask me one of my biggest fear in life, I would say pregnancy. I'm very terrified. I I really can't even go through the. Seeing people go through the whole process still puts me on the spot of, do I really want this? Like, do I really, really want this? And people are losing their teeth. You get, you see somebody people losing their hair. You see somebody with big hair because I'm why? Telling you, you're, you're having a pregnancy. baby. I know it's something I have to go through in my life. I know, I know. It comes with the package of being a mother and being a female. I get that. Oh, well, the package is very you know, scary. So. <laughs> I was there when my sister yeah. had, when she was in labor, Mm. One of her kids, I think her second child. So I was at the hospital. So my sister gave birth through um, CS. CS. But there was a woman who was giving birth through natural mm -hmm. birth. But I didn't know, I thought it was my sister. So this lady was screaming to at the lot. top of her lungs. I was, in the, I was in the hospital. The lady was screaming at the top of her lungs. And I thought it was my sister at first. I literally started having a panic attack. I was shaking. And the only reason I was shaking, I was not shaking because I was pitching the You're like, when yeah. is my yeah. turn? Yeah. It's, it's going to be worse. It's going to be a lot. So when is my turn? This is how I'm screaming. And I also have phobia for pain, so the thought is crazy. But it takes me to see it as well, because my sister, maybe the country about CS literally just made me remember. Yeah. So the inner section is, is, is okay too. It's, it's another, I feel like that's another thing where it's okay when okay. people come and say, oh, I still feel you should go through natural yes. birth first, though. But before if you just say you want birth through that's natural, natural birth. birth. That's but your people, Have you watched you know, the videos, videos on CS? Have you watched the videos on yes, CS? I have. have you seen the aftermath of CS? Because mm -hmm. of the mark? Aside the mark, the fever, the you unable to go with somebody who has CS three times. I lived with somebody who has CS. Oh, and everything was. My okay. mom had CS. Well, it was geez, a lot. The recovery much, was very much. They had to. No, it was. It was it a was, lot. If I saw if her and I didn't husband. want to give birth because you know she gave birth through CS and that was like our last child mm -hmm. and that was the first time she was ever having CS. All our other children were, was natural birth. But so wait, are you guys with your, are you guys of the opinion that if a woman is unable to give birth naturally, what is she supposed to do? Cut. Like your tummy open. I mean, Jake can do the CS. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying that now there's an option that you can just you go don't and have, have a CS. Yeah, instead you can of just... trying to even give birth naturally. People can do it. Because of the pain. Yeah, they can do it. But the thing is, the pain still comes afterwards. Exactly. That pain that is running fine. from. You will see it. It's going to be worse to see. After that, yes. my conversation here is there are some things that are okay. Mm. We don't have to put so much heaviness yeah on, on top of it or attention on it just because it's not the natural way and that's why it, it takes me back to the point i made earlier like when something is strange to the society they automatically think it is wrong mm -hmm. it's perfectly okay to have cesarean, cesarean section like it's fine nobody's going to die and it also takes me back to the conversation of religion where if if it's not going in the natural order yeah. that they are familiar with, but it's a lot a of women die through And then they say, you, say you know what is going to die? die? But a lot of people die through But people still it's, it's die. 50 50 percent. Really. People have died, died because, because 50 50. There are women that have died, because, died because, because doctors told them this child that you're about to give birth to, you can't give to the yeah, they give just, birth to the child. They just trust it. And then they say, no, ah, I, I can never have CS. It's against my religion. Which religion? Are you serving Buddha? <laughs> no, let me understand because if it's the same Jesus that we are serving, and I've heard sometimes some women still put pressure on themselves during labor. Like when a doctor give you like your result, telling you there's a problem with your pregnancy, I don't think you should go forth with this thing. Some women go be they like, no, I want of that religion. Oh my God, just pray for it, it's, and the next and then thing, they die. Then they die. And then your baby comes out and the society is hating on your child and you're there forcing us to love your child. But you know nobody. Men of God. You get it. No. We'll tell you, don't worry. You we'll give birth there. Outside. Outside. But let me ask you guys one question. It's a problem. If it got to a point where it was, you know, that point where it was, oh, they either save you or save the baby. May I save you? And your, husband, save me. and your husband has to obviously make the choice. Of course, that's what save me. Who would you save me? Who would you want your husband? You don't, you don't, you don't got to save, save me. me. I'm all right, but save, save the woman. 
What? Save me. You gotta say, I would never be in that position. So, it <laughs> will not be a choice for my husband to make. But I can't believe this. You guys will not save your future children. I don't understand. You can give birth again. You don't know when I'm will give you the same. You can, you can always go back and get fucked and have a baby. <laughs> I mean, but you've tasted life. Let this small child taste. I don't understand. the life. You so, you are ready lunch. to go now. Is that what you're saying? We will say never, saying, my baby. My sweet thing. 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 My sweet I've already had my own chance. If God says that's where so you end, I'll be that Giving the that child a chance is also you being absent in the child's exactly. life. Exactly. So who's going to be here? The child your husband can't be here. So we need to be here. Yeah, she's not running away. You're going to see big bomb bomb. He will send you people to the village. He will send you people to the village. Nah. If anybody chooses a child over me, nah, we are done for. But no, 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 no. I feel like society should be able to, we should be in a place now where we're able to embrace certain, certain things. things. Like it yeah. doesn't always have to be the natural order of things or not even natural order. I would say the familiar order of things that we only have to accept and the other things that seem strange supposedly becomes the problem. So like imagine you, you have a surrogate who is going to help you to burn your picking to mm. inside the world? Yeah. Would it be okay for you to invite the the woman in to, to start living with you? Hotel, don't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, girl, but you need to close. I need to be close. When you know the woman that was saying, I need to be close. I will drive to visit you every day. After I will she make born. sure you're okay, okay. during, no, during the whole process. You get even most of the times they always have surrogates home where you know doctors oversee whatever they are doing. Yeah. They are going to be in that clinic for a particular duration of time. After that, they move them to the world where they are going to give birth. So, so what are you doing in my house? How are you really bonding with the woman that's carrying your child? Why do I have to you bond? Not bonding with the woman. Why don't you need to? Bond bond your child. Child. The child is bond. in the woman. That's the thing. Not as How when your husband bonds with you during pregnancy, madam. Mm -hmm. Your husband is present. Your husband is trying to make sure you're not vomiting. He's trying to give you everything that you want. You get because you telling me I should bring a surrogate mother into my house because you're carrying my child. So what? When you go to collect this thing from my man? No, I'm even talking about when she has when she don't bond with the no. So you're protecting your man. I'm even talking about when she don't when she don't drop. Oh. You know, you know that some women, when some surrogate mothers, <laughs> when they're when they are pregnant, they are very horny. <laughs> it's true. And then but time, to be. And then once once your man start giving them attention, they start feeling now that they are like the wife and. But that's weird. To, I don't think so. I'm be carrying my I'm child. So then you are now having sex with other yes. men. Yes. No. Do you get? No. no it's uh -uh. not having sex with other men. men. So you don't understand. I get you, but like if they are not in, they are, if they are not with you. And they are somewhere else, and they are hunting. No, they should not have sex. So what would you then do with my own child? No, you bring up yourself. I have to borrow. I have to. Who go pump do one? Who go do the whole body? You want to have? Your husband go do one for him now. Why am I picking the belly? So you know what me another man climb mom. You know what me your husband climb mom. So me she does the whole body for him. This is so fucked. Are you hearing this girl? I'm not even pregnant with my husband. Our hormones are raging. That is steady. You will be alright though. Ah, or you no, guys have you guys you have deal dildos or vibrators. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> Even that was like you know when they choke the bouquet. She <laughs> know if you make me see down. How she go take the duam? She go duam. You go pluck <laughs> that girl. Okay, my own give my bouquet hole for head. No, no okay, we won't get there now. Okay, <laughs> what is? After she gives birth, what mm. happens? <laughs> like. Eh, she you go she, home, I don't need to come and do omogu in your wow. house. So what? So she don't mother go, the baby. She don't go breastfeed the picking for you know a while. These things are contract, right? I you know now. You understand a contract that once the baby come out of your pum pum, it's over for you. <laughs> what you saying? Yeah. But that baby, and we still need that. The baby does not need that. That. anything. No, the baby needs that connection. Let's not lie and say baby no, don't need that. No, the connection can't be my dear. Especially when you just give birth. No, but you need to watch. You need to watch surrogacy videos and you see how the child mother and the original mama mm -hmm. with the belly they bond together once they give birth the mother passes the baby on already the hospital will make you the real mother to start to lactate for breast milk now you're going to start bonding with that child through your breast milk that's how surrogacy works. So all this on the you say she needs to come to the house she needs to bond oh, my the surrogate mother me. has the right to claim um if the egg, <laughs> you, if the egg is her own egg, oh. if not, she be she has the right. Um, to... Or the laws that me I know for surrogacy, you can't claim it unless because you sign. already signed. Hey, now you, no, you, you, you won't go jail, but go fast surrogate more than. <laughs> <laughs>
I know you are sad. Won't you, won't you do the right process? So you just come out now and start looking for something. No, the mother can claim custody and say, oh, yeah, you she, she gave birth to the child. It's not your baby. No, but you would have signed documents. Yes, course. exactly. That but if you do, I will have you well for you. you know, and there's no way. There's no way you will do this. It's just like saying you can. It's just like saying you adopt a child. The just carry your baby and not sign adoption papers. Come on. You have to go through the process. Even adoption, you have to sign adoption papers. They need to know that you can take care of the baby very, very well. So my dear so great mother have nothing to do in my house. So they they all speak to madam. If you need you know, anything, but my people day your body again. Your house. Going. Eh? Maybe like I think you're not even living anywhere close to me. <laughs> uh, my guest house is full. There's no space. Uh, so <laughs> how do you so how do you monitor this woman? If something happens, that's what she that's said. What I'm now. saying they have so they have homes. Homes. They have for... homes for them where they have doctors. They have it's almost space. like an hospice. Exactly, they can like watch over these. Babies. That doesn't even sound. I don't know. It just doesn't sound warm. It sounds it again sounds very it's, warm. It sounds. There's no soul in it. You don't get what I'm saying. Why? Like you put someone in a hospital, it's like a home for them to just push out a baby for you. You grab the baby and leave. It's a normal apartment, but we paid doctors and paid nurses and paid everything to take care of the woman's well-being. Anything she needs, she's enjoying. Person with no feed, they chop your house before apart they from carry sex, your baby. Because you still won't let well, your husband you, do you it. You see every woman that wants to have sex when they're pregnant. Trust me, yes. I'm very sure if it's you Google it right everyone. now, at least you 80% of women are horny when they're pregnant. I've seen people that are pregnant. Ravina is naturally horny. She's <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, why she can't. Exactly. Exactly. Can. Obviously, I've seen I've somebody seen... that is literally pregnant and she tell you that she's irritated by touches. She doesn't want anybody to touch her. She doesn't want to have sex. But she wants to have sex. So in her bag, she carried the belly. She went to <laughs> the male women, the pregnant women, maybe I know. Hey, because even them. science says it. You're everything. You're feeling everything times two. Me on a normal day when I'm ovulating, self, I know how I'm feeling when mm. ovulation hits me. Now you come and tell me, say, when pregnancy hit me, I don't go feel how times are you three, madam. <laughs> Madam, I know how I'm feeling. No, you know what I'm talking I about. Know what you're talking about. <laughs> but like, you know, like, like I'm sharing with you. I like, the, like <laughs> all our emotions are like super heightened. Yeah, yeah, but that one is none of your business now. Should I be concerned about your sexual life? You should life? be. Oh, Why? Because so your baby, baby is in that, 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 that belly. So I should, would you tell me, ah, madam, me, I won't fall. Even, so even doctors, they tell baby. the woman, we get belly, say, as she did, make sure they do and wear well. So you go there easy when the picking won't come out. Then they talk about now. Now the sex go make the picking come out. You go there easy. Oh, like they, they, always, like, they, they, always, they always recommend it, but it's, always not, it's not necessary. You know, so you can't what? do yoga. <laughs> yoga don't finish. You don't go, go sit down top bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand which one is you have to receive. You don't receive anything. I don't think your sexual well being is my is my concern. It's so well, what if it's really good for the baby? At the end of the day, you want the best baby. for the baby. I mean, if doctors ordering it, tell it to the baby. Make sure the day, <laughs> the day come out. Okay, what, what, what effect does it have on the baby? Uh -uh. I don't know. Hey. I don't know. But I hear that. You know, every time it comes out fire. Every time it's a beat. No, but I do say, I do hear it. I do hear it. You know, it's a beat. Come out to say, come out to have yeah, sex. But then, when you're having, because so I have to wait, prepare that wait. place. If you say it helps the baby push. come out easily, yeah? This woman is still going to the labor room and scream and shout and push yeah, uh, like when you are so, your don't you don't you feel pain? That pain is going you to be feel there. Pain, but it's going to be there naturally. Pain, you take it to it will just automatically that, eradicate. I, I you say, you guys are already in that time every day now. So but they say they say it makes it easier. It makes it easier. I'm saying you will not feel the pain at all. I don't for sure. The pain will be less. But for sure, definitely. I don't care about your sexual. Okay, so okay. I say let's even say you don't even care. You you care because I can write like a whole day. At all. But you that you care, you get but and if I would you that find you have so else you do it. Easy if you tell me that you do not want your surrogate to be having sex while carrying your baby, mm -hmm. then you're not a good person. Uh? Let me just tell you what <laughs> there are there are literally um, and I'm going to read it out loud for you. <laughs> reasons, benefits of why a woman should have sex during pregnancy. Yeah. I, no, no. I, I'm very I'm very for having sex during pregnancy. And I, I agree with everything, but you see. My surrogate mother. So first of all, you are not yeah. allowed to have sex. First of all, it is. It, so what happens for a pregnant woman ah. when she's pregnant and having sex? There's an hormone that re, that that gets released called ox oxytocin. oxytocin, and this is basically a love hormone. It helps uh, reduce stress for the mother and the baby, pains, 
backache, anything that, you know, all, the, all this pain that you have to worry about for the baby and the child is easier. Even the postpartum, after they give birth, it's easier for them to recover because they've been having sex, you know, during the pregnancy. And literally, like, it's not only that, it increases, like, endorphins that helps a woman to helps that pregnant woman to sleep better, combust exhaustion, and you know, all that annoying pregnancy symptoms. We'll and these are very, very important we'll give to your bills. baby and the person carrying the child. So how will you now tell me now that you don't want that woman to have sex with any other person? I said no. There are other ways that you can achieve all of these things. But how? how? You said you don't have to masturbate. Ice cream will give you oxytocin. Or you hug somebody. You don't have to have sex with the person to I don't collect know. oxytocin. I'm sorry. Eh, having it easier. Well, if like you drink oxygen, you will have women you will give birth is easier. Sorry, well, it's not. It's not every. It's not every lady or every mother that wants to have sex during pregnancy. I tell you. So I, I say my son is very. I want to say my son. I can bomb my children myself. God, I beg. Mm, because of small sex. You are stingy. <laughs> Do you get? This person wants to carry a whole human being. I say no. I can't even you share your husband prick with the same person. I won't carry life for you. Say, how do you want her to share her husband? What is there? I don't just understand. Rubbing. Is it not just for a while? Just yeah. for the baby it's to just come for out. A while. So what does she go and do? You can say contract on Imagine that. She, eh? I didn't mean I know you now. <laughs> I, I, I would have given you one day. You can take contract and my husband will top you up. Just, no, just till the baby comes. Mom will be safe. She, she said her husband. No, go ever, ever go back. <laughs> she said her husband. I mean, it's not far-fetched. I will not lie. I mean, uh, I should stand at the end of the day, if you're not going to pay for someone to have sex with your surrogate woman, mm. then at least let your husband do it. Since she's, she's, are you she's, okay she's worried all? about the baby. Now, so, do you get? Are you, are she's you like, right? oh, you want to have sex with my baby? Mm. Okay, let your husband. Is is it, are you really going to let your husband have sex with another woman because I mean, she's pregnant with your child? But my wants to carry her child by herself, so... I really don't mind if it's going to help the woman give birth like very like safe. Ah, just a joke. I will. See, anytime you have a surrogate mother, yeah, and you want your surrogate mother to have sex, call Ravina. It's your husband that told <laughs> So that she will come for two months. So my husband don't you to get Belinda. You know me you now. Not me, my husband. You work support. You now, open marriage with that thing. Open marriage with them. You're actually supporting us. So I don't think it's actually. But what happens when IVF insemination fails and then your husband has to naturally penetrates the person no. it's again and eh, you go back do you know how much it takes you'll be wasting money how much it takes instead so, of just letting him enter once and masturbate. just do it once so what do you want <laughs> at this point where is that just like i'm literally i'm <laughs> done i'm honestly done <laughs> at this point you just really have to shoot because i don't understand having sex does not mean the, the sperm is still going to be right you get what you or whatever you're trying to say but the rest of the any time <laughs> Anytime she wants to have a surrogate mother, she'll come to you. Like, you, I'm not mine. I will want what's best for my surrogate mother. And you'll be so, you'll be so excited. Yeah. All right. Of then. course I will. Madam, I cannot do so it. Mm -hmm. But you can do it. You can actually adopt a child, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, Adoption. So what would you do if you adopt a child right now? And then the original family of the child comes looking for the child. Or your child gets to a certain age and start looking for her original family. That's the thing. I, I'm not sure if I do adopt a child. First of all, the parent has to be a lola mila mila any coin I'm sorry, what? Meaning, My meaning I've never seen them again. They're nowhere close. Why? I mean, because this is supposed to be my child now. Mm -hmm. They needed the child. They wouldn't have dropped it in the first but place. But you, you could drop the child because at the end of the day, you're unable to provide certain responsibilities for the child. Or and maybe I wouldn't you were not adopt the child at that the time. If I couldn't take care of the child, I would not. And I, of course, I would let the child know if the child is adopted. Like, bro, you are adopted, though, but you are mine. Totally. But you know, but not children... you say, oh, mama will come, come after <laughs> 20 years. Then I even know. 20 say... years. Then 20 years, it will be years, up to the yeah. child to decide where even, to go. I don't even care. Even if the child is 30 years old, no mama, they come meet me, say, they well, find it possible. Picking. Okay, let's, 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 let's take anymore. it like this, yeah. You know, in Nigeria, we don't really have child service. Child service comes, take your child because of a certain situation, and you're unable to come back to look for this child. You have to leave the child there. 
which if you leave your child to child service for a certain duration of time, yeah, you, you have do. to give it up for adoption. You get somebody somewhere loves your child, come and take your child. But you, the parents, you're still looking for your child. You're still trying to hustle to go back and take your child, even by court. You get, mm -hmm. and now they come to you, and the next thing they need their baby back. But you have trained this child to a certain age. Would you give up the baby? No, of course not. Because this is this is a real conversation. It's not about I'm not going to give it up. I'm it's sorry. Not, it's really not up to That's you. That's my baby now. It's really it's not, not up, up to, to the child. It's not. So it depends on what age the child is. If the child has got to, maybe if the child is like, the child's up to 18, they're able to make those, or maybe 16, they're able yeah, to make decisions. Make the decision themselves. So this child can decide they want Wait, to they stay. They were not up to that legal but they're not age. Up to I'm that. sorry, I'm not doing but it. But it's still not up to you because at the end of the day, somebody owns that child. Mm -hmm. So at this point, it is you well, making statements. You can take it to court and then the court will I own the child. decide, yeah. The court will have their own name. And it's also adopted the child legally and. The child's baby, even if it doesn't matter, at the end of the day, it's not your child. It's still not your baby. I feel like this is also part of the reason. My child the child. How is that not my child? But I feel like this is part of the reason. The biological mother lost the right the day I adopted that child. That's now my child. Lost the right. You can take it. She lost the right over You may have a case depending on the situation. I definitely have a case. That's why I said if the child is grown, then that's another difference. But in most cases, the child is not grown and the woman is coming from somewhere. That's not situations in most situations the woman has an upper hand how because she gave that's the child. their child it yeah. depends on the circumstances that she lost the child, the child under. Yeah. yeah that's what i'm saying like it depends on the situation but usually that woman has an upper hand because that's the that's the woman's child that's so the they can cook up any story they can lie yeah come anybody with can say anything evidence. do you come come with it even talk to the child and make the this. child stand in court against you saying you don't treat the child well that is crazy and that is why people go for surrogacy instead mm -hmm. at the end of the day you know that nobody's coming to claim this child mm -hmm. and then you sign papers on that and then imagine adopting a child and the child now have um hereditary mental issues hey, hey we live, we live. That's another scene. And again, this is why I feel like surrogacy or no surrogacy. Why you like <laughs> No, because I saw, I, saw, I, saw, I, saw, I saw a little documentary on social media where a lady said she adopted the child and the child keeps stabbing other children in school. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, a young zero like killer. Like a pencil. Like, you know, just always fighting. Always. This conversation is really, really it's morbid. Really, yeah. It's really, really wild. And she says she adopted the child, that the child is really a loving child, but she doesn't know what is like what went it, wrong it you case. get and at the end of the day they had to run mental tests on the child and they saw the child has mental illness and it's actually from you know it's a generational thing i think and she's the thing question thing is okay now she has already surrogacy. adopted the child Sh do you think she should return the child back to the adoption home or still cater for the no, child no, because, you know you, you would just return it to return to where about it but not again i don't know they return that kind of thing now you, you do whatever you want to do with that child that's another that point that with surrogacy yeah because mm -hmm. like i know it's my husband's sperm and it's my egg but there, there'll still be some traits that this child will carry Little from best way carry him. how like what well, but it's not possible i'm just saying there might be you never know no 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 the woman's DNA is not, not connected to, to that child in any way. It's because not connected. It's not, it's as, far as, as, know, as far as I know, mm -hmm. so I don't know if there's any other information out there. Maybe I'm it's ignorant about it. It's very right to have your DNA. But I don't DNA. think there is any DNA connection to...